for me, education was a, a way out. As a farm worker, we would go to garage sales and uh, there was always a free box of, food, of stuff. So we would always go to the free stuff and we'd find books. After a long day's work, after chores, after everything, it was an escape. And it would just take you somewhere where somewhere where we couldn't go. We didn't have the money to do it. We didn't have the means to do it. But you could escape your reality and travel somewhere. I'm a second grade Spanish immersion teacher at uh, Robert Gage in Rochester, Minnesota. That was one of my biggest concerns is we're going to be far apart. We're going to be so socially isolated. And and as I've always said, relationships carry you. They, uh, they're they lifelong uh, connections. But I sat there and I brainstormed about many, many things that I could probably utilize. We would have um, cafecito con compañeros, which means coffee with companions. I'm not encouraging the children to drink coffee, but they could bring a, a morning drink, a shake, uh, whatever they would want to have breakfast. And it was basically breakfast with the kids. Sometimes the kids simply just wanted to talk, somebody to talk to or somebody to share their toys with. We also had virtual field trips every Friday. We even had a dance party. Not only did you meet the children, you met grandma, you met little brother and sister, you got to see their pets. It became more of a like a personal relationship almost. It was really beautiful. I want my students to take with them the love of the language, the love of acceptance of being who they are and who they can be. I want them to take with them uh, the knowledge that they have acquired and use it in every aspect of their life. It's a passion. This is my passion. And every year I see these kids grow and it just makes me so happy.